Hey everybody, it's Jared. You're watching Revert to Means. Please take a second. If you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to this. Check if you have been subscribed. Sometimes you get kicked off, so give this a thumbs up if you like the video. I would greatly appreciate it. Hit that bell notification. You'll get notified of the newest video I put out. And check out the website below. Um, it's in the description, revertomeans.com. We're all about uh, economics and reverting to the means and what mean re reversion is. So check out the website if you want to look at that. But there is a lot going on today, folks. It's Tuesday, December 7th, 19, I almost said 1941, 2021, but I'm a geek for uh, dates. Um, if you didn't know, today was, I believe, if my math is correct, 80th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. Um, the attack on Pearl Harbor, a pretty heavy moment. I can't, when you think back, 80 years, wow, you know, not that... I was around back then, but you hear all the stories when you're, you know, growing up, um, heavy times. So, um, thoughts go out to all those who, uh, who perished and those who survived and, um, were fighting for our country. So just wanted to, to bring that up. Um, uh, boy, you know, Dow Jones, NASDAQ, everything up today. Like it's, it's bananas how this is, you know, like I say, I have no crystal ball. I'm not a fortune teller, but what's tomorrow going to bring with this volatility? You know, it's, it's going to drop down another 700, up another, you know, 500, 900. What's it going to be? It's it's so manipulated. It's so backwards. Um, and I've talked about this on prior videos, but this is getting bananas, folks. Gold and silver were up um, slightly. I think uh, Bitcoin was up over 50 again. Um, Crazy, crazy times, folks. Um, really want to know, too, um, what you guys, when I ask you to comment, um, ladies and gentlemen, it really helps. As I've grown grown the channel here in the last uh, six, six months or so, five months, six months, um, the comments have gotten more and more, uh, they've just increased. So we all learn a lot back and forth and... Um, just been getting some great comments, some great emails. If you want to send me an email, um, sometimes the comments, I had a couple the other day, they just get auto-deleted. I can see the first little bit of them and then YouTube deletes them for some crazy reason. I don't know why. Um, but you can always send me an email through my website. Um, just scroll down to the bottom and there's a, a thing you can fill in your name, email, uh, message line, hit submit and it comes right to my inbox. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about anything too, that would be great. I would um, greatly appreciate it. Let's get on to, uh, on to some news here, folks. I do want to bring up something first of all. You know, I'm out. I'm out working today. It's it's getting dark here um, here on the west coast, nearing five o'clock. I was out. I drove you know probably 150 miles today for work. I was inland quite a bit. Um, I live um, near the coast, so I went inland, saw some customers you know, back towards the coast and seeing more customers. But check this out. I was talking to a customer of mine and one of his buddies was there and he was saying, he, he was an older guy too. Man, I shouldn't say, he was probably 50 or so, but he was going on about his refinance, you know, about six months ago and how much cash he pulled out because of his equity. And I'm just sitting there, you know, doing this like, not doing it, but mentally doing it like, oh boy, you are, I, I've heard this now from multiple people in the last multiple months. Folks, we're, people forget about history. Where is this? I, I don't get it. He, the, they're going to lose their homes. They're going to lose, see these people, you know, it, and a lot of other YouTubers talk about it, but people wake up. People took out equity out of their homes they live in to buy Bitcoin, to buy cars, to buy second, third homes, to buy God knows what. Um, pardon my French there, but uh, people have, you know, I talked about this last week. Very short memories. Um, whew, it's rough. Um, I feel bad for these people when, when SHTF um, does occur. And it's going to, folks. I read... Um, got a few articles here I'll share with you um, one before I get to that you know I'm talking 
I'm out driving out and about today. I saw, for some reason, I, you know, I've shared with you guys, I'm very observant and, you know, always looking at things. But in my travels today, I'm seeing a lot of uh, junk on people's sidewalks and driveways. Furniture, couches, chairs, bags, boxes, what have you. It, it just seemed to be a lot more today. I, I, I saw it, you know, across town or, you know, way out east. I saw it here along the coast. And one thing I can correlate that to, folks, is, is people either getting booted, evicted, um, or they're just moving and leaving all their crap. I don't know. Comment below. Are you guys seeing that where, where you live? And then, so I come back, you know, I'm about 40 miles inland. I come back to the coast to see some customers and run errands. Stopped at a grocery store, but there's, and I hate to, I'm not talking down on anybody, but the homeless people or the, just the people wandering the streets is, I used to say it's growing monthly, but it's almost now weekly or daily. You see the people, you know, meandering, picking up cans and this and that, but I really want to know what you guys think about that. Um, in your areas is it increasing do you see a lot of it because here in southern california it's getting out of control um another funny thing i was reading about you know the new health crisis and whatnot i was sharing with a uh, a lady friend months ago before this new crisis the new scare scariant as george gammon would say came out um so i have you know allergies i've had them my whole life i don't take any crazy gnarly prescriptions or over-the-counter because they're not good for you um, they're not good for your insides um, but I wake up about every morning runny nose you know when I do my deal brush my teeth you blow your nose yada yada and I just laugh to myself oh oh because people have become so scared and you know I don't know what else to say scared brainwash that they literally I know people I have I have some family members that you know a year ago when this was going on oh my gosh I gotta got a runny nose I better go get tested come on get out of here um, let me get to this comment below on that what do you guys think here's a good one um, off of zero hedge I've been following this I haven't brought it up much the um, uh, uh, some people have called her Amarosa, this lady running the uh, Amarova, um, Sal Amarova. She withdrew her nomination to be President um, Brandon's comptroller of the currency. She's getting a lot of flack um, I have seen recently um, in the news. So I just thought that was interesting because I think that's a good sign. Um, if you read more into that off on the hedge, you'll see what I'm talking about. I, I can't bring it up here. Um, where did I see this other one here on the hedge? Um, da, da, da. Oh, here's another one. This, they're talking about this guy on uh, CNN, Don Lemon. He might be getting in some trouble too, but I want to know what you guys think about this. You know, that other guy, um, Cuomo, he got terminated the other day because he was talking with his brother and this and that during all that, you know, nonsense. Um, I'm trying to be careful with what I say. So anyways, I thought to myself, I don't know, this must have been six, eight months ago. I'm watching TV and then, you know, I don't watch any of that mainstream news. And I saw a clip on YouTube, I think, and I saw that they, I, I had no clue. I could care less about them. I found out they're brothers. And I get thinking like, isn't that kind of a conflict of interest? Eh, whatever. I didn't give a crap if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so good on them for finally, um, taking some action. I mean, that's, that's not good what was going on there. Um, a, a guy at a major news agency and then his brother, the governor, um, just very crazy. One more thing here on the hedge that I saw. Uh, there's a couple stories here and bear with me. These are good. Where did I see that one? I'm trying to find it now for you. Um. Anyhow, 
Here's what, abc7.com, it's a, um, the LA News Station, one of them I follow. Here, here's a good little headline for you. Compton homeowner kills armed robber. That was updated a half hour ago. Shocker, right? Um, all I heard about on talk radio out in my pickup today. Oh, by the way, I filled up uh, my Toyota Tacoma full tank today. $88. Um, it was just under $5 a gallon for gas. Uh, just think about the people that have these huge pickups, you know. Um, huge. My Tacoma only holds, I think, 18 gallons, 16 gallons. But think about these dudes and gals that have huge old pickups. They're filling up here in SoCal for the time being. That must be, what, 150 plus dollars or more, I'm guessing. And then think about people with um, high octane cars, you know, the high end Mercedes, Beamers, all that, yada, yada. They're putting in, you know, 92 octane. That was, I saw today, was 534, 37. And that was at a semi kind of discount um, gas station. Here was one I heard first thing this morning. I kind of wanted to make a video this morning, but um, major outage hits Amazon Web Services. Many sites affected, right? This was on AB. This is what I read this morning in the LA News that I always check out. Here, here on CNBC, still the top story. Amazon Web Services outage brings some delivery operations to a standstill. And then, you know, I further read into this. And guys, I want to give a shout out to Aaron at Texas Silver, uh, JB, Jeremiah, babe. We've all talked about this. You got you to think outside the box. What happens when the power goes out? What happens when the internet goes out? What happens when you can't use your credit card at the grocery store? Uh, what, 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 what? You can go on and on. You can, you know, I always keep tons of legal pads around. I'm always jotting down notes mainly for for you guys here on on the tube um but what if that so you know people can't buy their stuff on amazon uh you know but the whole and, and this went on to here we go I had to scroll down here among the services that reported issues as a result of the outage were disney's streaming subscription service disney plus netflix slack ticketmaster stock trading app Robinhood, and coinbase the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the u.s um and they were having issues at their amazon warehouses but um crazy times so i don't know if that's been resolved you know i can do without amazon any of that i don't even know what half of that stuff is i just uh, i mean i do know about it i don't use it but um See, this is what I, why I bring this up, folks. What if the internet goes out for two days, two weeks, a month, and don't be one of those folks, oh, that won't happen, that won't happen, it can never happen. Folks, it can happen. We're seeing a lot of craziness out in the world. Um, all I heard about, too, on talk radio was crime. Um, the crime in Los Angeles um, just in the last month has, I think it hit an all-time monthly record, they were saying, on KABC Talk Radio um, today. And the number one crime was um, street robberies. So this is why I say, folks, be aware, keep your head on a swivel if you're out in public, especially at nighttime. Um, I read a story, too, uh, Pacific Palisades, a suburb in West Los Angeles, which... I know about, I've been there a few times. Um, used to go watch a golf tournament when, when I was a little kid um, at Riviera. And that, that's Pacific Palisades, Brentwood. But anyways, these they're, they're, this nice house um, in Pacific Palisades, they're um, having a party, I believe, over the weekend, Sunday, something like that, Saturday. And people are, you know, hanging out in the backyard. People are hanging out in the house. A handful of people are up in kind of the front yard area doing doing whatever, having a good time. They got jacked. People came, you know, got out of their car and held them at gunpoint and robbed them, took their wallets, and hey, this is out of control. <sighs> you know, we are a country of laws, but I guess I, I don't know where that's going. It's just crazy. What do you guys think? Are you guys... And being that I live north of Los Angeles, um, and I travel all the time for work, uh, 
it seems like a daily increase. Um, I'd like to know what you guys think. I'm going to uh, wrap this up. I'm going on a little longer than I would have liked to, but really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for your time. Give it a thumbs up. Share it. Hit that share icon. Share it with friends and family um, to wake people up to what's going on in the economy, the real economy, um, and, and, and just culture, you know, what's going on in, in in the social world we're, we're just I talked about it last video we're on this just this moral decay where right is wrong and wrong is right and um, anyhow I'll wrap it up there thanks for watching take care have a blessed night um, say hi to somebody um, and check out the website below God bless take care